is Sarah. I was an alumni with Jimeo um, in Chengdu in the spring semester of 2015. Prior to studying in Chengdu though, I really didn't know a whole lot about China. Um, so I was very fortunate that Chengdu was the first city I got to experience. I came back three times since studying there. I really just love the city so much. Before coming to China, I worked as a cook for several years, uh, so I'm very lucky to have ended up in Sichuan. One of the very first dishes I ate in Chengdu was Shangjiao Tu, double pepper fried rabbit. I was very surprised by the dish because I'd never tried the Sichuan peppercorn before. The hua jiao are little peppercorns that are frequently used in spicy Chengdu dishes. They're special because since Chengdu food is so spicy, these peppercorns help to numb your tongue and add a fresh citrus taste to the dish. There's one more famous Chengdu meal that may be the best, Chengdu hot pot. Hot pot can be both spicy and mild, meaning that anyone can enjoy it. It's essentially a big boiling pot of broth in the middle of the table that you can cook your own raw ingredients in. Vegetables like potatoes, mushroom, lettuce, leeks, or meats like lamb, beef, pork. Spicy hot pot will certainly be very spicy. Yeah. Sichuan and Chengdu in particular is very proud of their chili for its flavor, its spice level. Uh, it's a key component of hot pot. I love that it's a social meal. You can't eat hot pot alone. Hot pot should be enjoyed with a big group of people where you can serve one another, talk about your day, laugh about how full you are. Hot pot is a great way to eat a good meal and form really strong friendships. But one thing's for certain, anyone who visits Chengdu will not leave on an empty stomach. <laughs>